Anybody in there? Hey, what are you doing way back here? Hang on, let me get some lights on in here. Ah, that's a little better. Hey, welcome here. So, this is the shipping container, the Axe Headquarters. I don't know what we're calling this thing yet, but welcome here. So we're gonna be starting to work on this bad boy today. We're gonna be putting in some electrical stuff, prepping for the electrician. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is get some flat bar cut up. We're gonna weld it onto the wall here, because where I've got these pieces of tape, so we want electrical plugs. Got them on this side as well. Plan is we're gonna have, have 110 outlets there, and then I'm gonna have a couple 240 volt plugs, the lower one there, and then some on the other side. The first half of the container, this is 40 foot container, is gonna be for the ax making, and then the back half is gonna be for storage and whatnot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a 100 amp panel, a sub panel for the electrical. It's gonna be in the back here, and then we'll run all the wires out. So let's get that flat bar cut, and then we'll get back in here. So flat bars are in. The reason that I'm putting the flat bar on is because I didn't want to drill into the side of the container to mount these electrical boxes because I don't want any holes in this thing to have water coming through. This is my little uh, Miller Multimatic. It's a suitcase welder, and uh, I don't use it actually much at all anymore. I bought this when I was doing installs. It does uh, MIG, TIG, and stick. It's a three-in-one little welder, and uh, I wouldn't buy it again, actually. I'm not actually super stoked with it because of uh, two things. The TIG welding is basically the only thing I need for installs. I don't use the other processes. And it doesn't do TIG great because it doesn't have a high frequency start. So you got a scratch start, which is annoying when you're in a house trying to do nice work. But the bigger concern, I know it kind of sounds crazy, is you cannot control the purge on it. And the purge is like, it just goes and goes and goes and all you do is blow gas. If I was doing this again, I would have just bought a little TIG welder. That would have been a better bet. <laughs> this one runs on 110. I don't have a 240 volt cord long enough to get to the shipping container yet. So anyways, uh, we're going to hook it up to run MIG today. Open this up. Oh, I do have some wire. What is that? Oh my goodness, there have been mice in here. Look at that, guys. Got a peach stone in my welder. How's that for a howdy do? Maybe we should just run the flux core. That would be a lot easier than getting gas. I had actually bought in some solid wire. I was going to use, but nevertheless, hey, let's try this flux core and see how it goes. I do not see the gun in here. Hang on, we got to go find that. All right, got the gun. I actually forgot that this is a Bernard. I thought it would be a Miller gun. I like Bernard. They're good guns. You know, I will say though, it did a good job there with the uh, auto jog function and whatnot. It's, that's nice. And it has a lot of like easy, easy setup stuff. Let's, uh, let's just see how good it does here. I haven't used this thing for so long. Let's try the metal thickness here. Auto set. O30 wire. Got it on 1 8 thickness. And then I can adjust it from there. Just super sweet. Uh, 
I like the wire. Yeah, I like it. That's sweet. But let's just try running with the uh, the preset. Turn it on. All right. Sounds good to me. Let's try it and see. I was just thinking about it. It's true. Uh, I'm not super happy with everything on the Millermatic. That being said, that's just because of the type of work I do. I have been approached by different welding companies that like make welders. I'm like, hey Tim, do you want to review our staff? And I'm like, well, no, not really because I actually really like Miller welders. I've ran like a lot of different Millers. I'm not saying there's other companies that don't make good welders, but if Miller came and said, hey Tim, do you want to do a sponsorship integration for us? I'd be like, yeah, 100% I do. I really like Miller welders. TBH, I don't like Miller guns because the consumables, the tips, are like extremely expensive. Bernard is robust, it's good, and the consumables are substantially cheaper. So if Miller was better on their guns and cheaper, that would be sweet. I do not like the uh, auto setting, that was not what I wanted. What I've done here is I just welded these bars on. Just because this piece of six by one eighth is so soupy floppy spaghetti noodle, I'm gonna see if I can just slide it up, put it on, and then hold it and then just tack it along. Okay, got that welded on. Looking pretty good so far. We'll get the next one on. So I just wanted to quickly thank everybody who has purchased a bottle opener from me. Thank you so much. We actually just ran out of bottle openers. So Martin right now is making more to ship out. So those of you who have ordered one and haven't received it, we're gonna ship them out next week. Hudson Bay Axes, the pre-order for this month, which is September, those are gonna be ready to ship out next week. And we're hoping, to, we'll see how the Blackhawks are coming. We might be a little bit behind, so that might be just into the first bit of October. That would be for the people who have ordered expecting it at the end of September. Thank you so much. Let's, uh, let's just cool, quickly pop in and see how the bottle openers are coming. Bottle openers are looking awesome. All right, let's jump back to it here. Okay, got a good chunk done. We gotta still do the other side, but it's not as much, and then around the back and stuff. But we are gonna pick that up next week. But actually, we gotta get done the axes and bottle openers, so not sure how that'll work out. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep the forge lit, hey? Bye for now. <laughs>